Welcome aboard. A safety message will follow shortly. Please ensure you give it your full attention. We hope you have a safe and pleasant journey with us. After the report, the end chapter of the south of the captain. The accusation is reported. The ship office report the first and fourth. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard this Caledonian McBrain vessel. Please listen very carefully to the following safety announcement. In the unlikely event of an emergency, in the Isle of Arran. Scotland is that way and this of course is part of Scotland. The Isle of Arran has been settled by Scots for thousands of years and many of those ancestors when the world became a tough place here economically found that they had to leave for other places. They went to the United States, they went to Canada and the largest group of them went to Dalhousie and Camelton area of New Brunswick in the Bay of Chaleur. And the first wave of those people to depart here in the clearances went in 1829. That's 190 years ago. And from 1829 until 1840, hundreds of people left this island for Canada. And Janice, my wife, her ancestors include two people, uh, James Hamilton and his father, John Hamilton who left here in 1839 and moved to Camelton, New Brunswick and never came back. When the first wave left in 1829, they were sent off after a religious service by Reverend McKay and this mound behind me right here was 
built out of the earth and Reverend McKay stood on that mound and gave a blessing to the over 100 settlers who were about to board the Caledonia, a ship, and sail off to, in this case, uh, Canada and became some of the founding European settlers of many parts of eastern Canada. So we're here in a place called Lamlash Bay, which is absolutely lovely. We just arrived. We got a really good taxi drive from a nice gentleman named Sandy. And tomorrow, from his brother George, I'm going to rent a small car and we're going to do a, a motor tour of the Isle of Arran. But right now, before I lose the daylight here on this uh, Sunday evening, I thought I'd come out and do a little bit of a vlog. Over behind me, across the road, you'll see a monument. And that monument was actually erected by descendants of some of the people who left here all those years ago. And that monument speaks about this mound right here and its significance. The hotel we're staying at, coincidentally, is the Lamlash Bay Hotel, which is, which is uh, interestingly just to the right. That is, that's it right there. Or no, it's, that's it right there. No, that's it right there. That's it right there. The, Lam the Lamlash Bay Hotel, which is, when we booked it, we wanted to find this mound, but we didn't know where the mound was. We booked the hotel, knowing that we'd probably try to get a car to drive, and we would uh, use that car to find the mound. After we had booked the hotel, I went on the search to see where the mound was, because I'd read about it, and the exact coordinates of the mound seemed to match almost the exact coordinates of the hotel. And sure enough, I just walked over from the hotel to the mound when I was prepared to drive maybe as much as 20 or 25 miles some other side of the island. So Lamlash Bay is very close here, as you can see. It's not uh, beachy and sandy as you would find in Daytona or Old Orchard Beach or a place like that. But across and behind right there is there is a place called Holy Island. Holy Island has a religious significance, obviously, and currently has some monks who live over there. They're not Christians, though. I believe they're Buddhist monks that live over on Holy Island, and you can take little trips over and spend some quiet time there. But uh, Aaron is just fantastic. The weather's been very iffy back and forth. It's uh, starting to clear a little bit, but of course, because we are on the east facing side of the island when the sun sets it'll go in behind the hillside and it'll get dark here probably quicker than it would if we were on the other side of the island it's a sunday so a lot of services aren't running and as you can probably tell from maybe some sounds on the mic and hopefully not too much difficulty hearing me uh, we've got a lot of wind today they've even posted a warning for tomorrow morning saying that uh, the first ferry crossing, maybe the first two ferry crossings may be cancelled because of the high winds that are forecast for tomorrow morning. But they seem to be okay for later in the day when we would be going back on the next leg of our trip to Glasgow. Back to Glasgow where we started uh, from a couple of hours ago before we took the train and then the ferry. So as I spin around you'll see the Lamlash Bay Hotel behind me where we're staying and uh, our window looks right out on this uh, greenery and right out on the harbor. So it's going to be a lovely night here in Erin. I might even get the radio out and see what I can hear. Although Janice found a couple of touch lamps inside that might interfere with the radio, but we can overcome that. Anyhow, more tomorrow from the Isle of Erin.
knuckles.